Another way to manage your uh, sources, and in this case, dissertations, is through an application called Zotero. And I'm going to click on that down here so you can see what the application looks like. This is an application you can get online. It's free. It has two versions, the Mac version or the PC version. Uh, I downloaded that application and I've been using it for quite some time. And one of the reasons I use it is because it integrates really well with Word. And I'll show you an example in this video uh, because it's, it's, more it's just as important to be able to collect and see your sources, but it'd even be more efficient if you can actually use them in your narrative. So what I'm going to do is go back over here to our original file you've seen already, my dissertation, and I'm going to go to save. And you'll notice we have all those options that we had before in RefWorks, but this time I'm going to use RIS. And I happen to already know that this is a format that Zotero can import in order to get this information into it. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice it's going to download and you'll see that right over here. Actually, I've already done it once, so it's over here a second time. So it's been downloaded. So my next step is I need to get it into Zotero. So I'm going to bring Zotero up, and I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go Import. And I'm going to look for that file, and it's in my Finder folder. I'm going to click on that and click Open. And you should notice, let's see, it should be, if I can find it, hopefully it showed up in here. Oh, here we go, in ProQuest Documents right here. Um, you can see it showed up right there. Now I could move that to another one if I want to. Let's say my, uh, if I wanted to move it to um, this particular folder, the National Education Finance Conference State of the Schools. I could move that over to that, just like that. And it would go, actually it would put a copy in there. Um, so there it is, we have it right there. Now, let's say I want to go ahead and, you know, not only that, I want, uh, I want the whole article there. So I can go, I'm going to attach a link to that. Um, or attach a link to a file. Because I happen to know that I have it already in my Google Drive. So I'm going to go Dissertation, Final Approves. I already know that's the copy in there. And now not only do I have the information all about that particular one, but I also have the PDF so I can pull that up at the same time. All right, but let me show you something probably that, that makes Zotero even neater. And I think you can do it with WebWorks. I just know how to do it with, with the Zero. So if I bring up a Word document, here's a good example. You'll notice at the top of my Word document, and until you add the add-in, and you can go to uh, kind of a help section, and it'll tell you how to do that, you'll notice I've got Zotero that is actually in my menu bar for Microsoft Word. So I've started a, a piece of text here, a narrative. The 65% rule is signed into law, created an arbitrary standard for budget allocation. So let's assume that I need a, a citation in order to substantiate that claim. So what I can do now, since I've clicked on Zotero, I can go, okay, I want to add that. So I can go there and say, I want to add that one right there. Pull that over here. Hang on just a second. I'm going to select that and I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice that it automatically put in my last name and the year. Now, don't worry about the indent. That's just kind of a formatting thing. So now I have that citation in there. It's so, okay, well, um, what if, how do I know where that came from? Well, later on, let's say I go through the document and I've written, I put in my sources and different ones. I say, you know what? I'm ready to create a bibliography. I can do that. Click on that right there. And boom. That entire citation comes up in APA format uh, from that uh, in-source uh, uh, site right there. And actually the way this would work is you would do a page break uh, before this and then you insert your cursor and then it would do a running list. Another cool part about it is if you delete any of your sources and then you refresh your, your entire list, it will edit your bibliography to match your source list in order. 
So I, that's one of the reasons I really like Zotero. So play around. I encourage you if you if you don't already have an established application that you're using, and you don't mind doing, uh, download Zotero and play with that a little bit. Uh, I do most of my publications with Zotero. It just it just works so much better with Word. Uh, I'm more confident in it. So. Um, this is how you would use uh, this application for managing and uh, uh, organizing and actually utilizing your, your sources.